And now, my passport. It's full! No idea what to expect in this country. In the western part of Central Africa lies a relatively unknown country of Gabon. No tourists, mysterious and unfamiliar. All the qualities that fascinate me. So I bought a flight ticket from Douala, Cameroon and couldn't wait to discover Gabon. me to turn off the camera as always at African airports so uh, we're here this is an incredibly small airport here in Douala Douala has like 3.5 million inhabitants but the airport is incredibly small not only the airport but also the plane is really small and there's only like 20 people here this is definitely the smallest plane we've ever taken only 20 people Yeah, so he was probably the only person from Gabon in Slovakia and today we are staying at his family's house in Liverville, the capital of Gabon. So there's gonna be someone waiting for us at the airport and we're gonna be staying uh, with a family of someone who was a complete stranger and uh, who I met only because I was a bit drunk. Life is strange sometimes. <laughs> Gabon, Gabon, a huge mystery for us. Bonjour. Gabon, a French-speaking country with 1.8 million inhabitants, mostly Christian. Abundant petroleum and foreign private investment have helped make Gabon one of the most prosperous countries in Africa. However, because of inequality in income distribution, a significant proportion of the population remains poor. That, however, wasn't the case of my Gabonese friend's family. This is a palace. This is probably the nicest room we've ever had during our African travels. Look at this. King-sized bed. After all those Stone Age bathrooms, this is this is a dream. This really is a dream and, and this house, it, it's not a house, it's a palace. It has like 20 rooms. We're staying in Liberville but at the outskirts of Liberville and uh, now it's time to visit the city center. Let's go. So we've been here in the city center for like three hours. First impressions of Liberville. It's very hot. It's very, very developed. It's very modern. It 
feels like it feels like Monaco. It's the Monaco of Africa. It's very clean, very organized, very expensive, very, very expensive. Yeah, they have all the European supermarkets, clothes, food, everything. Even the people, they look more. They mm. don't look very traditional. Yeah. They're not wearing the traditional African clothes. Exactly. And it's not crowded at all. Not crowded at all. It's Is she a good vlogger? Square. Is she a good vlogger? I'll leave your reply in the comments below. And uh, we're moving on with Liberville. Our great first impressions of Liberville are slowly shifting to average first impressions. We were quite used to harassment and exaggerated need for security. Uh, near governmental buildings and ministries here in Africa, but what happened in front of the presidential palace here is, is too much. We wanted to take a picture in front of the most famous statue here in Gabon. It is a beautiful statue of half man, half woman that breaks the chains and is being freed. It's a beautiful statue and we wanted to take a picture in front of it. It is right in front of the presidential palace and we were told by the guards that we cannot take a picture there let alone record a video but on top of that we were not able to get close to the statue because it is not allowed to just be near the statue the statue has nothing to do with uh, with the president with the palace it just depicts the history of of Gabon of the Gabonese people so uh, a bit strange but we said all right we're not gonna have a nice picture and then we wanted to have a snack at the promenade which is also in front of the presidential palace and again the armed guards started to shout at us so i have no idea what's the purpose of the promenade again someone is shouting at us someone from a taxi just started to shout at us i have a strong desire to show him this but uh, I'm not gonna do that. And the presidential palace is made out of gold and it is rumored that it costs 250 million dollars. So uh, the inability to take a picture of a statue near the palace, the inability to have a snag in front of the palace and uh, the price of the palace and the material of the palace, you can uh, make your own opinion about everything. I will not say anything because I would end up in a Gabonese jail probably. Sometimes there's a paranoid, exaggerated need for security here in these African countries. We're being driven back home by our own personal driver, which is a situation we're really not used to after always using a cozy public transport. We're definitely not gonna say no to this opportunity. Back home we should be having dinner, so uh, I'm very excited to try something from the Gabonese cuisine. Uh -huh. Before that, palm wine. I finally get to experience uh, this famous drink for Africa. I've never, I've never tasted it, but I finally have the palm wine here, so I'm very excited to try it for the first time. You don't know it's very hard to compare it with something well, let's say it's it's interesting and it's also a beverage so we may get drunk Ooh la la sweet potatoes this is aubergine with fish this is uh, plantains or bananas plantains plantains and this is the oxtail and uh, as we say in France bon appetit <laughs> all right after incredibly delicious dinner, uh, we're having, I, I still cannot believe this, but we're having a Hungarian spirit here. And as a half Hungarian, this this is unbelievable. This is just an unbelievable moment for me. Look at this, look at this. Tokajski Viber. Sárga muskotálos törköli pálinka. And we're drinking this in Gabon. Only 1.8 million people are living here and we're drinking the Hungarian and Slovak Slovak spirits. That's just unbelievable. This is uh, one of the best things that have ever happened to us in Africa. I still can't believe it. The, the family of Junior is, is wonderful. They're so nice. They're so kind. We're living in a fucking palace. I'm so thankful, especially after the horrible beginning of our Cameroonian journey when we were stuck 
in a in a cargo ship for two days and we are afraid for our lives i think uh karma is finally balanced thumbs up gabon very excited to explore more of this country good night